Hey yo, what's good? What's going on everyone, everywhere? Look, you see the title of the video, so you know what about to get into right quick. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out all this stuff, all right? Look, you already know tactical mods pretty much gonna be the same cut and dry for all precision. You know, blast depth is always gonna go on your weapon. You already know we're using dual wield for single target, the flurry shot, and brawling the shuriken storm for the AoE, okay? Now, for the head socket, it can be a little tricky, okay? If you know in most content, if you have an EOG healer, go ahead and get your Neo Venom boost, okay? Just so you can constantly have that on and popping for you, especially during content. Now, if you don't run with one of those, or you consistently just don't have one, I will go ahead and get the, let me show you real quick. Go ahead and get the 2% critical right here from Pressurize. Okay, so critical Pressurize 3. So go ahead and get your 2% critical strike chance right there. Okay, that's going to be your, pretty much your, your next, next best bet. Okay, now for the net socket, you already know we got to go straight precision with that Relentless right there. And backside go berserker. Okay, you will be surprised. Like I say, time and time again, some of y'all don't believe me. You get below 35% quite often, and your healers just heal you back, or you drink a soda, whatever the case may be. But you still get that additional 10% for a few more seconds. So go ahead and go crazy while you can. Okay, it's just gonna shoot you up to the top of the leaderboard. All right, and then penetrating strikes, you already know. If you don't know, check out City and Chill video, penetrating strike for his core strength. He went ahead and break it down in a very like statistical, you know, spreadsheets and all that too. So yeah, just penetrating strikes, long story short, all right? And leg size, it don't really matter. I still got Celestial up in here, but I mean, you can put like Riptide or whatever, Crashing Wave, whatever you want to use, okay? Feet socket um, for precision, I like to use Deadly Block or Tumbling Master. Um, depending on what you are going to be in. Um, now, when I say what you're going to be in, I mean more like high level elite content all the time where, you know, like the mechanics are going to play a major factor where you got to roll a lot. I will go ahead and put Tumbling Master in. If not, then go ahead and put Deadly Block because even as a DPS, you can still counter a lot of the enemies and you're just gonna do that much more damage it's crazy and then max damage you already know for the extra two percent damage all right um your affinity mods instead of might you're gonna have precision here and then you'll just have your choice of uh, c and d whatever you feel like it uh, best suits your play style i would say i currently have this set up here for a might base DPS because that's where I generally get the A and B mods and then healer is normally when I get more full renown so that's why I have the healer stuff there all right now for our artifacts we're gonna go with transformation card strategy card and the grim that's pretty standard for our precision now I can make a decent case for the clarion when it comes to AoE because it does you know do a, a nice amount of damage but just more consistently just go grim it's gonna give you more consistent damage than the clarion is going to um the venom wrist suspensor i, I low-key feel like it was a waste of artifact xp at this point honestly because it just even the extra 16 percent just doesn't seem like it's enough but mm, that's just me my my little two cents and for a trinket setup you know it's pretty standard for me at least got the tier three pet supply Got the orbital and got a buff trinket, okay. And I throw in a, um, a henchman, you know, from there. I pretty much use my orbital to, de you know, regulate when I should go ahead and use my henchman, okay. But let's go ahead and go on to the allies here. Now, for the allies, depending on what you are doing, um, will determine your allies in terms of combat. Okay, your combat ally. If you don't know, I think Obsidian Chill just literally dropped a video about those, but I can drop a video as well if y'all want me to, just to give you a very summed up short video. Pretty much, um, House of Legends bot, 
it's gonna be a great single target one is one of the best ones and it's cheap so you should automatically really just have it cyborg great aoe especially if they're all lined up hey it's just amazing death metal batman if we weren't using for her support you would definitely use him for his damage okay it's just insane flashpoint batman he's not as high as the others but he still does good damage same as the batman who laughs but you're probably pretty much never taking this dude off his support luck of the draw is just insane okay so never really take him off and then bombshell harley quinn i don't have her leveled up on this account but my you know some of my homeboys went out done some testing for me looked at the numbers looked up setting chilvia looked at a couple of people's videos see what she hidden for and she's pretty much like electric all right in terms of if there's a lot of enemies she's gonna go crazy but if there's only a little bit of enemies eh, she's she's okay middle of the pack kind of thing okay so generally you know especially if you're trying to conserve your ally favor just go with cyborg for aoe and house of legends bot for single target it's pretty much gonna be good there all right and you're like i said before you already see what we got luck of the draw for a support ally and the cloak of insure i don't really know how to say that but the death metal batman right there for his um support ability right there okay because it gives you might and precision and some damage mitigation so you know it gives you a little a little buff all right now for our traits and how our skill points are spec you already know we getting our dual flurry shot you know you got to go into bow to get that then from brawling we got the shuriken storm that is how spec right there and you know we got to go to martial arts to get the weapon mastery to finish that out now super speed um i would say pretty much everything i got on here would be to your benefit besides speed drain speed drain is the only thing i would say you shouldn't go ahead and waste a skill point to get in there now your restraints your masteries your not back and all this good stuff here i would personally get it and i would advocate for you to get it just because if you're precision if you're stuck in some kind of knockback you know um crowd control effect or whatever you're losing damage like a lot of damage at once you don't have a lot of stuff going for you your only real dot is going to be your strategist card so or your grim so definitely get these and they will tremendously help you out in content just so you can stay up and stay moving and stay hitting everything in sight all right now vortex drop i advocate for it quite a bit it's just amazing where it is right now in the game tanks can use it and it stuns like crazy it does more damage if you didn't know than whirling dervish and it's just as easy to get out of whirling dervish just just know if you're trying to get out well and dervish we're using like the square thing like how most people do with vortex sharp you just have to jump cancel this it doesn't do the whole weapon to get out of it in the same respect it's just gonna take a little bit longer if you try to do weapon but if you do jump cancel it gets out as quick as whirling dervish hits harder than whirling dervish too so there you go the more you know tornado pool if you're looking for a good single target um high hitting move all right now it does take a while for the animation to fully go through but obviously if you clip it with your shield your weapon buff whatever the case may be it's really not nothing to you all right and if phase dodge come on now we're doing precision you know we got to test out this phase dodge all right now iconics pretty much gonna keep it simple get your robot sidekick get your neon venom and get your super strength okay super strength does help your weapon just minimally but it still helps nonetheless okay now for stat points pretty much gonna go straight down the line and this even in terms of importance all right a weapons expert right here focus your critical attack chances because you want to hit as you know crit as much as you want and when you do hit a crit you want to hit hard so there you go get your critical hit attack damage go ahead and max out your precision as much as you can after you max that out, I would advocate for you just go into Might and Power, just add whatever is left. Um, definitely try to at least put one of the skill points and your other stuff. And since we have the Deadly Block on, I will recommend that you get Dominance as well, at least one into there. And for your Vite, I'll advocate that you also put one into there just for the extra 45%. I mean, not percent, but 45 might add it fight add it to that stat excuse me y'all it's late i can't really speak right now 
But yeah, I would advocate just for that, just because you do lose a lot of power regeneration, even in going weapons expert here. And when we hit our attack, um, what's it called? Our weapon buff, if we were using like Neon Venom, uh, wrist, the Venom wrist dispenser or stuff like that, you just lose a lot of power regeneration. So get back what you can with the Vite. Just dump everything else to my power. You're pretty much good and set to go. Now, in terms of loadout, our AOE and our single target loadout I think is going to be the exact same. Water is actually kind of interesting when it comes to damage. I wasn't expecting this much damage when it comes to water. A lot of people saying, hey, if you're a water precision, you might as well just need a switch, yada, yada. But water actually got some good stuff going for it. All right, now hear me out. Hear me out. Shark Frenzy is pretty much like how Tornado Pool is. It's just a hard hitting move. Now, it does crit quite often, and as you see, it doesn't require any PI or anything like that. It's just a hard-hitting move, all right? And it's a ranged move that we can throw, so it's just tremendous. And it's not like the, the actual animation doesn't have to go in the same direction as where you're actually trying to hit. Prime example, a lot of times I can be over here, but like, uh, that's not a good example. I can't do it right now. Anyways, basically if the shark ends up going over here, but you're like target locked on here, it'll still here over over in front of you, wherever your target is locked on to, pretty much. It doesn't matter where the animation the actual shark goes. But I can't do it in that instance, so you know, it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and get our weapon buff. You know we have to get it. We're gonna use bubble because bubble is very interesting with water as you see it has you know do extra damage it's pretty much like on average i would say about like 60 70 thousand right there it does three ticks no matter how many targets or how many times you hit them there's three different ticks they about ten thousand a pop and they can go and crit in like thirty thousand so you have you can get up to like 90 almost 100k right there off of this one move if all the ticks you know crit but if they don't on average you're probably gonna hit around that that 50 60 um mark all right probably a little bit higher too so honestly but and then Whirling Dervish, because you know, we're gonna go ahead and use that. It's just easier with the whole um, canceling it with the weapon, okay? Robot Sidekick, because come on, we need a dot where we can get it. Neo Venom Boost is something that is gonna be a requirement, pretty much. Now, you can, you can use a Dehydrate, right? If you have a lot of supercharge and you know say you just got up off of a death um and you have an armory specified for this i would say this is a very occasional move dehydrate is not something i would use consistently for damage because you could potentially use it if you're doing just a purely single target so you can replace it for like shark frenzy but just know it does deplete your supercharge bar to zero every time so it's not worth it in that sense that's why i said it's more special case where you could go ahead and replace it with a neo venom boost and just hit over a million in one thing even being precision based okay it's it's crazy how the way dehydrate is and how it works and all that other stuff and then if it crits oh my goodness it's insane so you you might want to try it out that's all I'm gonna say. You can delete a boss low key. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna show you all a little rotation. What I find works best in terms of this loadout with the rotation, everything like that, is going to be this. Let me make sure I got the right weapon on. All right, we got the dual wield. Now everybody knows, if you don't already, make sure you are not in your movement mode, okay? You see the top left, how it's green? I'm gonna click that and it's back grayed out, all right? So make sure you're not in moving mode where you super speed acrobatics or flight. All right, you need to just be walking on the ground like your regular smickler. All right. Now what you want to do is go ahead and have shark frenzy into your pressurized clip that together. 
all right and after that you're gonna hit about two to three weapon combos you know canceling out as you know get halfway to three-fourths of the way through your weapon combo you'll see a little blue bar here right on top of your loadout go ahead and jump that and then you're gonna hit another weapon combo for the flurry shot do that about two three times and then hit shark frenzy into your bubble all right and then you're gonna do the same thing hit about two three times then you hit whirling dervish then you hit you know do your weapon combo a few more times and go back to shark frenzy to pressurize and so on and so forth okay that's some exact same whether it be single target or aoe okay now it looks like this right here you can clip that Now, you already know my numbers are going to be low just because I am recording, but I generally get the, the 80, 90s, all right, and I can get up to 100. I was just testing this stuff out. Oh, I see I'm messing up trying to talk about. See, I forgot to do the, the spin to the Whirling Dervish. I'm messing up the combo, y'all. I apologize for that. This is a good loadout for precision. Do take my word on it, all right? If you if you want to go ahead and try it out, leave a comment down below how it did for you and some content. You know, try it with your own DPS competition, whatever you want to do. Just go ahead and try it out. Drop a comment below how it fared, okay, against your loadout or other DPS, whatever the case may be, okay? Just so you know more people can understand that when I do record videos my numbers are very skewed for some reason I don't understand maybe the PlayStation contacts DC and be like hey he's recording make it look bad I don't know but AOE the exact same thing we hit about two combos and then go ahead and do it See, I'm not even fast with it. Ah, I was off on timing. Man, I'm butchering this, y'all. I'm butchering. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I've already tried to record this video once before. And I just want to push it out, honestly. I want to go ahead and go into nature. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop butchering while I can. You can. I generally hit over 200k with this where I'm at currently and my CR and my stats. So let me go ahead and show you all the stats just so you know where I'm sitting at and why my damage numbers look the way they do. I still got 114,000 might and about precision. Oh, well, drop down. It was you saw the 91 light relentless strikes and stuff is going on. Uh, relentless precision, I mean, but seven, 72. 800 72,800 is where I'm at precision wise all right my head augments ain't all there I really got for the head part I got the might ones and for the body I got precision okay just because I'm more of a might based DPS because generally they take a lot longer to to do precision there's only so much you can do with it I feel like it's very basic it gets very boring for me. I like doing more might based stuff. Bay, hey, that's just me. Well, look, that's about all I got for this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay, share the video out. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Okay, please, please, please get us there. Help in any way that you can by getting us there. Share the video out, all that good stuff. All right, if you don't know already, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to pay out of my own pocket right 10 different people's membership it is not platform specific at all i'm gonna give you all a gift card so you can go ahead and get the membership all right whether you're on the playstation whether you're on pc whether you're on xbox whether you're on nintendo switch it does not matter i'm paying for 10 people's membership one month membership all right for this game of DC Universe. So please help us get to that goal and I can get y'all some memberships, all right? That is what I got to offer y'all in terms of that, my little reward back. But stay tuned in for all the giveaways, all the loadout videos, instructional, informational videos. I'm gonna try to go over the different mechanics and the elite content, especially when the new stuff comes out. Um, if anyone has, you know, 
troubles with it or questions about it, especially if I see something that's been plaguing a lot of the community, I'm gonna try to make a video about it so we can get that addressed, okay? But look, without further ado, check out my channel. I'm gonna leave y'all to it. Be easy, be safe, shalom.